Good afternoon and happy Thanksgiving Eve, everybody. In today's wild, wacky world of rock and roll, we're at Disney Springs. We're going to go over to House of Blues. We're going to check out Mammoth WVH. It's Wolfgang Van Halen's band. We've seen Wolfgang play before at Welcome to Rockville. We'll see him again at Welcome to Rockville, ironically, with Nina Strauss, who's also opening for him here tonight. Wolfgang has two amazing records out, and if you haven't heard of him before, I haven't heard him before, I urge you to check him out. He's very similar to Dave Grohl and Foo Fighters. Wolfie playing all of the instruments on the record and singing as well. And he took a very strong stance at Welcome to Rockville when he last played two years ago and saying that there was not a single sample or loop or recording or computer of anything on stage whatsoever while he performed. And Kiss was headlining that night, which was incredible. Because if you put those two things together, and even though Wolfgang is the son of the greatest guitar player that ever walked the face of this earth, he does not play any Van Halen songs in his set whatsoever. However, in related Van Halen news this week, tickets went on sale for Sammy Hagar. He's going to be doing a show with Joe Centriani, Mikey Anthony, and Jason Bottoms. Or I should say multiple shows, in fact, a full tour, with focus around Van Halen years. Sammy essentially having an open offer for Alex Van Halen or David Lee Roth to join him on stage at any of the dates. And David Lee Roth seemingly responding last night and saying, let's make it happen. There's never been a full, proper tribute to Eddie since his passing. And quite honestly, we're going on three years now since that's happened. And so we bought tickets for the Sammy Show in Tampa. Second date on the tour. I believe they're probably starting here because Jason Bonham lives in South Florida. And that's where the tour starts. And in other unrelated but kind of hilarious rock news today, uh, Daryl Hall issued a restraining order on John Oates, who had that in their book for the year. And I spent the better part of the afternoon trading comments back and forth with Justin Hawkins from The Darkness with regard to Corey Feldman of all people. And we got to Disney Springs early so that we can try to get something to eat. And uh, the rain has arrived. We got to the House of Blues and back there, tour buses for Wolfie and Nita. We were able to just walk up and get a table right away in House of Blues. So we're gonna eat here. And I love me some House of Blues, especially the jalapeno cornbread. Also, the Southern salad is awesome, or the Cobb salad. But I think the main attraction for me here is the jambalaya. It is amazing. Also, the fried hot chicken is very good. And Mary likes black and salmon here, or the Yardbird. And they have a ton of drinks, as you would imagine. House of Blues also offers a Southern Thanksgiving dinner, but they don't know how to spell potatoes correctly. Unless, of course, the potatoes actually own the entire dinner. And here's a look at what shows are upcoming. Wage War is playing here two nights in a row in Wage December. War. Sold out the first night, and the second night. Wage War, Wage War. Wage war. Ooh, Mary's margarita. Cornbread is served. Jambalaya. Blackened salmon. Yep. So if you're coming to a show at the House of Blues and you want to get in before the rest of the general public, you do the Fast Lane Gilio, which is basically eating or drinking $35 worth of food or beverage or going to the merchandise shop and spending $35. And get your ticket to be able to kind of cut the line or get in the fast line to get in, get a good spot for your general admission. Well, dinner was delicious. Now we wait. All right, we're 10 minutes past the time for our doors opening and we are not open yet. Making our way through the world today. We're giving it everything we got. All right, we made our way in. Ooh, merchandise. Including a signed poster, 60 bucks. Merchandise, Nita Strauss. They have signed set lists. Within 15 minutes of doors, this place has filled up. At the emergency exit nearest you because the door you came in tonight may not be the closest or safest exit and the unlikely case you need to leave quickly.
many of you have heard my first record, Control Chaos? Well then, if you don't mind, we're gonna do some older ones for you. This next song was actually the NXT TakeOver War Games theme a few years ago. This one is called Mariana Trench. something uh, that's very fun. Normally, I wouldn't be uh, addressing the crowd this soon, but uh, it's a special night this evening. We are, if you've noticed, we're going to be filming a video. 
So, you know, whether you like it or not, you guys are gonna be in a mammoth video forever, so that's pretty cool. Yeah! We've been touring a while, man. But we were on a tour about a year and a half ago, and we had uh, some family emergencies, which rendered us as a three-piece for three shows in what I like to call the Mammoth 182 shows. <laughs> and uh, it was uh, it was challenging as the only guitar player. Uh, I know once we played the first show, uh, Ronnie and Garrett were like, "Dude, we did it. That was easy." And it's like, "Yeah, you guys didn't have to change shit. I'm the one who had to play three different guitar parts at the same time." <laughs> But you guys still heard that, right? The joke landed. <laughs> no, mass walkouts at the Orlando Mammoth WH show for uh, random Wonderwall. I'm so happy. You found a place that's better for you than this rock we're living on. I'm so nervous, don't know my place. Life without you. I'm not ready to move on No matter what the distance is I will be with you No matter what the distance is You'll be okay Oh
talking much. You guys have a wonderful evening, a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I'll see you guys next time. You guys get home safe. All right, House of Blues. That was a really amazing show. Both acts. Nita Strauss was amazing, amazing. Yes. And then Wolfie, awesome he just show. tore the roof off the place. It is uh, a freezing 70 degrees outside right now. <laughs> but I think it's late, we're exhausted, and uh, it's Florida cold. Mm -hmm. But this was awesome, and uh, this is the new record. If you haven't heard it, you should go to your streaming services and at least stream it, if not go buy it. Um, the show is great. I always kind of um, kind of think that the wolf doesn't get enough credit for not just kind of um, riding his dad's coattails or the legacy of Van Halen and continuing to, to release music He's like Van Halen. Um, his music is most similar to me to, to like a Foo Fighters type mm -hmm. of, of music and there's some tool aspects in there as well and um, it's just it's somewhat complicated music at times and also times mainstream rock and roll and, and uh, fun. yeah and he comes across as a genuinely nice person the stage banter is um, effervescent yeah for, for lack of a better <laughs> word um, super nice and uh, the show was just great House of Blues um, used to be my favorite venue to go to and I still love House of Blues but they overpack that place every time that we come lately mm -hmm. I mean to the point of like you can't move uh, you know a centimeter without having somebody on top of you and I don't know if I'm just getting too old for that or it's just the thing of um, they're selling more tickets than they ever did before in yeah. that venue Security is great at House of Blues. Don't have a problem with it. The drinks are super expensive. Mm -hmm. Food items are expensive also, but you can't even get to a drink or food items once you're stuck on the, the floor mm -hmm. in the pit the floor, because you, yeah. you can't move. Yeah, so, I was stuck. <laughs> yeah, but the sound, the acoustics there are just awesome. Yeah. So, in any event, we're getting out of here. Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. See you guys.